Hi everyone, I really appreciate your comments. Um, as you know, I've been trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm again, so even just leaving a heart comment really helps me. Let me know what you guys think of these uh, free flow readings too, as opposed to the zodiac based ones, because I'm thinking about switching it up a little bit here and doing um, more of the free flow, flow ones and less of the zodiac based ones. But anyway, let's get right into it. And as always, if you want a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. So we've got Knight of Swords, the Sun, the Fool. Interesting. This is pretty good energy, though. The Fool, the Two of Pentacles, the Star, the King of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Looks like someone is rushing in towards you with a message. What is the Two of Pentacles about, though? Because it looks really positive. It looks like the Knight of Swords is... Swords are, are about, you know, they can be about logic. Swords can be kind of a cutthroat energy. But swords are also about communication. With the sun, the most positive card in the deck. And then we have the fool, which is a new start. We have the star healing. Um, this is actually a surprising energy. I wasn't expecting to get this, but this actually does look like the person that we've been channeling wanting to come through and wanting to heal themselves, wanting to work on themselves and wanting to be this king of cups for you, wanting to present some kind of physical offer give you because pentacles is all about the physical this is somebody giving you something that you can see something that's in the physical world because up until now maybe this relationship was more telepathic maybe feelings weren't really expressed so let's see here tell me more about the two of pentacles though what is what is this two of pentacles about Page of Swords, Two of Cups, Three of Wands, Eight of Swords. Tell me more about, I think I'm getting the message here, but just give me, just bear with me guys. I need to pull some more cards. Tell me more about the Three of Wands. And the Eight of Swords. Six of Swords, King of Swords. Ace of Swords. Two of Wands. Okay, so I feel like this person actually wants to message you and let you know why there's been delays. Why is there why there's been stagnant energy? Because it looks like there's some kind of deep emotional bond here. It does look like this person actually does want to come through. I'm really surprised by this reading, actually, because I wasn't I wasn't expecting to get this storyline. I was expecting some of the other things that I've been channeling to come through. <laughs> I feel like this person is finally taking some sort of accountability. Um, it feels like this person is finally recognizing that it's not up to you to play both roles in this relationship, in this connection. It's not on you to allow this person to just, you know, use you as a punching bag or just allow, um, not even a punching bag, I guess that's the wrong term. It, it's not on you to take on the entire weight of the relationship by yourself. I think this person's recognizing that. So I feel like this person either, they either realize that maybe you are waiting and I feel like, I feel like maybe they have this understanding now that waiting has made you kind of bitter, made you, it's, it's almost like put you in this kind of victim mentality to a degree where you're like, I'm, I'm done waiting. I'm not doing it anymore. Um, so I think this is partially why this person is coming through, because I think that they have this awareness that you're getting out of this eight of swords energy and you're, <clears throat> let's see, five of cups. Ace of Cups, 
Yeah, you're seeing it almost as like a lost cause. Like you're just you you've you've cried way too many times over this situation. You've been sad for too long over this situation. Um you're tired of being in that sad, you know, a depressed five of cups energy. You want a new start with love. The devil, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, you're tired of, of working on it with, um, you know, somebody that's been in devil energy. Somebody that's been, somebody, and, and devil isn't, it doesn't necessarily mean like a bad person, but it's somebody who's, who's tied to their past or somebody who's, um, you know, the devil is all about like being uh, chained up, being um, like subconscious patterns, toxic addictions, you know, uh, the things that hold us back. And you're tired of, of trying and trying and trying to build with somebody who's just in that energy. Like I said, you were taking on all the weight of the relationship. But I actually do feel like this person finally has a new perspective on this, where they're taking more accountability because death is about, we have the hangman and then we have the death, which is like a transformation, like a death and rebirth. So I think that this person is finally starting to come to this awareness that they're going to have to, you know, the only way out is through. We were getting that in the reading I did. What was that like yesterday or the day before um, where we were talking about the changes coming into this person's life and talking about how they're they're going to have to change with or without you. There's they like they're they're going to come to that realization that there really is no other options. It doesn't matter if you're in their life or not. They're going to be forced to change. Um, so I think this is somebody who's getting on board with that process with this death and rebirth. But uh Anyway, yeah, I see them wanting to message. I see them wanting to communicate. Because like I said, I think that they have this awareness that it's, you know, that you know it's not your responsibility to take on the entire weight of this relationship and have to play the, the feminine role and also have to play the masculine role for them because they're not stepping up. And I think they're aware that you're no longer willing to do those things. You're, you're at that point where you're like, we're either doing this or we're not. We're either, you know what I mean? Like it's either you or I'm, I'm, you know, like this, I feel like this person that's in this eight of swords energy, I feel like she's, he or she is, um, like I said, there's just a lot of pain. Maybe you've been sad for too long and maybe starting to become numb or starting to shut down, starting to not open up so easily. And I feel like this person is kind of, it's almost like they're coming in now because they have no other choice. You're not willing to, like I said, you're not willing to do the work for them. You're not willing to message first. You're not willing to, I feel like some of you just kind of got to that point where you kind of gave up. You kind of just surrendered to the universe. You're like, I'm I'm not I'm not doing this anymore. I'm I'm tired. I'm not doing this anymore. They either come to me or they don't. I'm I'm not like I'm not going to baby them anymore. I'm not going to make excuses for them anymore. Um I also feel like this person wants to tell you about what was holding them back because it feels like maybe this person was waiting. This person wasn't stepping into a um male or female. I feel like this is either a man that doesn't have, you know, it, it's it's like somebody how do I explain it? It Don't get caught up on genders is, is what I always say. You know, whether it's a male or a female, this is somebody who was not stepping into their masculine role, into their masculine side. This is somebody who um, was just waiting. They were just waiting and procrastinating. And I feel like, you know, with the eight of swords here, they're kind of realizing that they trapped themselves. They caused this pain. They caused pain on both sides, you know, their side and yours for for no good reason. You know, they're realizing that they caused these delays that, that didn't need to be caused. So I think they're wanting to move things uh, from rough waters to, to calmer waters with you here. They're wanting to come forward with some kind of truth, some kind of clarity. King of Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Wands. They want to come forward with some kind of clarity on why they were cold why they were uh why they were distant why they were guarded you know and they two of wands is is long-term planning they want to get on the same page with you they want to build something with you here why now so why now <laughs> why now so then of swords and the high priestess because you're aware of their sneaky behavior because they can't they can't play games with you anymore you're in your power now. You're the high priestess. The high priestess knows everything, but she doesn't always speak on it. 
Seven of Swords could be lying, could be cheating, could be gambling, stealing. Um, it's some kind of sneaky behind the scenes behavior. It could even be, it's not always, a, it could even be hiding feelings. It could just be, you know, the Seven of Swords is somebody who's being sneaky and hiding something. So, I mean, for some of you, this was like hiding a third party or playing games and they thought that you were, they didn't realize that you saw right through the games. They didn't realize up until now that you saw right through them. Um... Or maybe you saw like, you know, their shadow side. There's just certain things that they wanted to hide from you. And they're, they're coming to this realization that, that those things are out in the open. Those things are not hidden. This high priestess is fully aware of all of this. There's, there's no hiding it. Yeah, she's the empress. She's, yeah. Yeah, she's the empress. So I, so to wrap this up. This person is coming back for multiple reasons. Like I said, for, for part, one of the reasons is everything's out in the open. This high priestess knows everything. There's no more game playing. There's no more. This person might have also been come, become aware that you're really turned off by them waiting and them not being in a masculine energy and them not doing any pursuing. Like they might have come to the, they might have started realizing that you can't really, you, you don't feel like you're able to be in your feminine energy or able to feel safe with them like you might not you might not see them in the light that you want to see them in if they're if they're just waiting you know what I mean like you might have gotten really turned off by that energy and they might be coming to this awareness that you're turned off by that um and yeah like also just this awareness that you know you already know everything everything's already out in the open so there's no they can't really play games anymore because there's there's no game that's going to work. You're going to see through it. You're going to channel it. You're going to go to another psychic or you're, or you're a psychic yourself. Either way, you're going to know. There, there's no, you know what I mean? There, there's no, they can't pull the blindfold over your eyes. They, they thought that they were able to pull the blindfold over your eyes in the past, but now they're realizing that was an illusion. You were aware the whole time. You just maybe didn't say anything, but you did observe for, for probably a long time. Um, so yeah, now that everything's out in the open, it's like, you know, cats out of the bag pretty much. The other reason that they're coming through is because they realize that you're an empress. They are having more respect for you now. They're also seeing that you're coming into your power. And even if you're sad, you might be sad, but you're still coming in regardless of what you feel happy, sad, depressed, whatever, you're still coming into your power as the empress. And as the high priestess. And with the chariot here, it's like you're you're going forward. They know that you're going forward in life with or without them. They know that you're not waiting anymore. Um, and this is somebody that's, you know, you're single, you're abundant, you're you're manifesting things in your life, you're manifesting money, you just you're you're finally getting into a better place in your life. And they are well aware with you being the it's so interesting we have the Empress and Emperor here. They are well aware that the the match to an empress is an emperor. It's not a knight, it's not a king, it's an emperor. It is is all four kings combined and all four queens combined here. So they are aware with you being single and abundant like this, you're very attractive right now. And they're coming to this awareness that if they don't step up and appreciate you, you're going to manifest another emperor who is going to do all the things that they didn't want to do. You're You're manifesting, you're not settling for anything less than somebody who is you know, honest and vulnerable and communicates with you on what's going on. So, so yeah, I do feel like this person's coming through with some kind of message. Um, and I think that you're going to admire their willingness to be vulnerable finally, to finally like admit their, their faults, to finally be willing to work on themselves, to finally take accountability. I think that just having that open communication is going to be a turn on for you you know, having them finally say things that they've been holding back. But I do want to say, find a balance. Don't lose yourself in this because, you know, you've worked really hard to become this empress or this emperor. Like I said, this could be two men or two women, or this could be a a, a, a man that's dealing with a, you know, a woman. Don't, don't get caught up on gender. But anyway, um, stay in your, your power, whether the emperor or the empress, stay in your power, stay grounded stay balanced because like I said when this person comes back I, I do see them you know explaining to you like why they held back for so long what was going on in their life um wanting to send a message maybe even wanting to apologize to you wanting to kind of clear things up 
but but like I said, you really have to be balanced because there is this sneaky behavior here that you were aware of with the high priestess. So don't let this person try to convince you that that was just in your head or that that was just you being paranoid. Like, you know what you picked up. You know what you channeled. You know what you looked into. Like, you know, because it might be one of those things where you're like aware of the games. Like, you are aware of like the mind games or you are aware that like some of these mind games might have stemmed from their fear of abandonment. Like, they thought they would leave you or they thought that um, like leave you before you left them or that kind of energy. So, and if you saw a pattern, it's like, it's one thing to go ahead and give someone the benefit of the doubt. Like you should be open to other people's perspectives, but if you saw a pattern with this person playing games again and again and again, don't let them come in and like gaslight you and try to convince you that that was just in your head. And, and cause some of them are going to be embarrassed because they know that they're exposed. They know that you can see through them. They know that you're the high priestess now. And some of them are like, like, wait a minute. Like, no, like, like, like they don't. You know what I mean? Like they don't want, maybe it's like their image or something. Like maybe, maybe they can play these games with most people and like most people don't call them out because maybe they're really sneaky about it. Um, and that's not for everybody. And you know, like I said, the games might not, it doesn't mean that the person is like a horrible person for playing these games. It might just be somebody who has insecurities and fears of abandonment. And so these play, they play these games to try to keep people in their life. You know, um, I think that you have com like empathy for this person. I think that you have... I think that you're going to be um, understanding with this person as, as long as they're taking accountability, as long as they're saying, hey, yeah, I was maybe not such a great person in the past or I, I messed up. I did this. I'm sorry. I want to work on myself. I want to do better. I want to do right by you. I think as long as they're taking accountability, you know, they they will be able to uh, step up and, and potentially be with you. But, um, but yeah, like I said, don't allow them to, cause they're going to come in with an explanation, but, but make sure that that explanation includes in accountability, make sure that that explanation isn't just them saying like, like, like trying to pretend like you're not the high priestess or trying to pretend like you don't, you know what I mean? Like, like, like don't allow them to, um to try to make you doubt your intuition or, or doubt what you've picked up. So, and that's where that balance comes in because it's like, you know, it might be hard for them to be vulnerable. So that's where that balance comes in where, you know, kind of leading them to take accountability, but also, you know, seeing your role in things too, seeing your side of things, being open to multiple perspectives, you know, both of you taking accountability and um, really working together and, you know, the Empress is, is she's very powerful. She's very, you know, very powerful, very assertive, but she's very motherly. She's connected to, to Mother Nature. She's very loving. You know, think about Mother Nature. It's, it's like she's she's not really good or bad. She's just she's powerful, but she's also gentle at the same time. And that's kind of the energy you got to embody when this conversation comes in is finding that balance where it's like you do want to be um, supportive. You do want to hear them out. Um. And you do want to be, paid, you know, understanding with them if they're actually taking accountability and working on themselves. But at the same time, you also want to, to you know, stay assertive so that they don't try to make you doubt yourself or make you doubt the things that you want to make sure that they're taking accountability and not just making excuses. It's fine for them to say, hey, I was going through this this family drama or I was going through this thing at work. Um, it's fine for them to vent to you, I think, and to open up about that. But there still needs to be that... Um, you know, like I said, them taking responsibility for themselves and, and, uh, and yeah, I think you guys will be good as long as you maintain that balance. As long as you guys come from a place, if you come from that place of being assertive, but also understanding and empathetic, you know, hear them out. And I think as, I, I think as, I think you'll give them one last chance just as long as, um, you know, just as long as, as they're, not trying to play any more games or trying to uh, discredit the things that you've already picked up on and that you're already aware of. And there could even be an explanation for those things. I'm not saying they're not, but, but just, you'll, you'll know, you'll know, you'll know how to, how to, you know, balance and use your intuition and, and feel this person's intentions out when they come in. So, so I think you guys will be good. It's just as long as they, um, 
yeah, as, as long as they're honest and genuine, I think that you'll, you'll, even if they have, you know, even if some of them might be kind of nervous too, but I think that you'll be patient with them being nervous. Um, like I said, just as long as they're honest and genuine, I think that you're so intuitive that you'll pick up on, on good intentions, even if they stumble a little bit, you'll, 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 you'll be able to, to differentiate the intention between sweeping things under the rug and actually like taking accountability and, and working on on themselves and healing themselves and healing this connection. So anyway, thank you guys for watching.